The world of finance has been in an uproar with Nancy Pelosi's trades and more notably her husband trades with memes, tweets, and all sorts of propaganda all over the internet saying what they are doing is insider trading. And most recently, they're filing reports with the big tech stocks they just purchased that have translated into millions of dollars of gains for the Pelosi family. So is this insider trading? How do you actually find out where the Pelosi's are publishing these things? And potentially, how could you benefit from this and potentially copy some of their trades? All of this in today's episode. Now, these trades and call options are exercised by Nancy's husband, Paul Pelosi, who in all honesty has done a very, very good job running the family office, which lands Nancy Pelosi as the seventh wealthiest person on Congress with a net worth of $114.7 million. Now, this isn't the first time the Pelosi family has been accused of insider trading and benefiting off of recent decisions from Congress. This year in March, Paul Pelosi exercised $1.95 million worth of Microsoft call options less than two weeks before the tech stalwart secured a $22 billion contract from the US Army, giving them really cool augmented reality headsets, which are look freaking amazing. As well in January, the Pelosi's purchased up to $1 million of Tesla calls days before the Biden administration announced electric vehicles were gonna be used in all US government offices. And most recently, I've just filed these four big tech firms where they have invested into anywhere from 500,000 to $5 million in Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, and NVIDIA, and either exercising or purchasing call options on those businesses. Which funny enough, just a few days ago on July 6, 2021, Microsoft's Jedi contract canceled for big win for Amazon. Estimated gains for the Pelosi's is north of $5 million on their one trade on Amazon. Now, is this insider trading when Congress can decide the rules of insider trading and Nancy Pelosi pretty much runs Congress? But that aside, also how can you benefit and potentially copy Nancy Pelosi's trades? Again, Congress makes up their own rules for what they wanna do and recently they made sure that all Congress members had to disclose what trades or investments they make. So if you want to check it out, clerk.house.gov, you can come to disclosures, financial disclosure reports. You can come in here and search by name. I search Pelosi and you can pull up all of her 2021 transactions. Now you might be yelling like me, this is insider trading. They're manipulating government contracts. This isn't right. And I agree with you. I don't think it's right. However, this also happens in other places. There's a filing called the 10B 5-1 rule which allows company insiders to make predetermined trades on a company as long as they disclose those trades anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. There's actually a number of investment firms that literally all they do is copy the trades of CEOs and CFOs on their own company. And actually a professor at the University of Michigan went as far to study insider trading legally and illegally and found that executives companies who bought their own shares outperformed the market by 6.9%. Conversely, when they sold their own company shares, the company dropped and was below the market 5.4%. Now, yes, there is illegal trading and finding stock means you can go to jail and there's lots of things that can happen, but there's also very legal insider trading, especially what we're seeing with the Pelosi's. Now, when you're third in line to the nuclear football and presidential office, why are you buying and selling stocks, options, calls, all sorts of stuff while in office? It feels like it loses confidence from Americans to those people in office. And again, this isn't just Nancy Pelosi. This happens for Republicans, Democrats. This has happened for years in Congress. And guess what? Congress makes up their own rules on how they want to self-manage. And so, of course, they're going to allow, yeah, you know what? We can trade. We'll have to disclose it within 30 days. But yeah, if we want to buy Tesla stock right before Biden's going to announce that we're going to go of electric vehicles, by all means, go ahead and do it and let's all become richer. And actually, a sad thing about the United States is politicians do become richer in office. They only make a quarter million dollars a year salary, yet come out multi-multi-millionaires and their net worth doubles or triples the time they're in office. So is it legal? Yes. Should it be legal? In my opinion, no. I don't think this makes any sense for this to be happening. However, it happens all the time. So what I always say, if you can't beat them, why not join them? There's actually a number of groups that I know of that literally will copy 
trades of CEOs, CFOs, or even just Nancy Pelosi's trades. I'm actually very tempted right now to take, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 grand and put it in a portfolio and literally just copy the disclosed trades from the Pelosi's and just see what happens. They've outperformed markets like crazy over the last decade. Why not follow what they're doing? That's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. That helps the YouTube algorithm push this out to more people. We're going to hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year. That's our goal. So help us get there if you can. It's going to be fun. We're talking finance. We're talking funds. Check out our other videos on the channel. We talk all about funds and all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think below. If you think this is insider trading, whatever is going on, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.